with much more. Brian. Yeah, Stephen Lindsay, a number of those photos you mentioned today were leaked to various media outlets today. I do want to warn you, the first one we're going to show you has the suspect's body laying on the ground. I'm going to switch over here so you can see now that first photo. Here you see the suspect's feet laying there surrounded by long guns here, and you see just a number of these empty shell casings on the ground. Check up here in the corner as well. That is a hammer. You might remember law enforcement, law enforcement saying yesterday that a hammer-like device was used to blow out those windows you showed uh, right as we came on the air. Here this second photo shows more of these uh, rifles laying around the hotel suite. This one in particular laying here uh, as two couches look to be shoved together. This third photo, I want you to notice right here, you see that looks like a stack of magazines. Those would hold a lot of rounds of ammunition. If those were all full of ammo, that would be hundreds to thousands of rounds that the shooter would have had at his disposal. Take a closer look here. These are two close-ups of two of the weapons. Some of the modifications you've heard talked about made to these weapons. This right here, that's a holographic sight. Those typically used for rapid firing as opposed to precision firing. Then the last thing here, check out this right here. This has been examined heavily today. Law enforcement saying at least one of the rifles was outfitted with a bump stock. That's a device that would enable it to fire hundreds of rounds per minute faster than a human could pull the trigger. Much more on that coming up, Stephen Lindsay. So 